What's up, Warriors? It's Goku. Welcome back to more Dynasty Warriors 9 with some of Discord's choice. And I once again left it up to a poll because I'm going to be honest, when it comes to this game, I don't really know who to play as anymore. So I'm just going to leave it up to you guys if we ever do more of Dynasty Warriors 9. If you do want to see more, by the way, you know what you need to do is uh, hit the like button right now. If we keep getting those, uh, if you're crushing the goals and such, keep it going. If we keep showing the good support of this, then we'll keep it going. But um, here we are. We are playing with the girl, the beauty, Diao Chan, who won the poll pretty much, pretty impressively. And I guess it has been a hot minute since I actually played with her. So this is going to be fun to actually play once again with Diao Chan. Uh, so here we go. We're going to be going in here. Got uh, the girl Lu Ling Chi with us because <laughs> obviously. So yeah, so we're just going to run in and we're just going to go try to beat up some baddies. I did one of Blue Boo stages. There's only three or four objectives to this. So this might be a short video. I don't really know. I'm not really 100% certain. We'll do the closest one, actually. So I didn't actually realize I was at the furthest away one. But yeah, so we'll do that. We'll try to make this drag out a little bit and all that such. And this is actually very appropriate because not too long ago, it was actually snowing here in this godforsaken deserted world known as North Carolina. So... It's actually pretty fitting that we're finally that we're here in the snowy area of Shopee. So yes. So like I said, if you guys ever do want to be part of this, I'm not only going to be doing this just for the sake of Dynasty Warriors 9. I'm also going to be doing this for the sake of Warriors Orchi 4 Ultimate, or maybe even Warriors Orchi 3 Ultimate if we ever go back into Gauntlet mode again. Uh, if you guys do want to see me do more Gauntlet, because I haven't completely beaten the game yet, so if you do want to see me do more of that, by all means, uh, let me know down in the comments right now. Let me know. I am more than willing to go back into that game mode. Obviously, we'll do more in Infinity mode and everything like that as well, or just go play with a couple characters in Warriors Orchid 4 Ultimate, because obviously we have returning and new characters I need to play with. So, yes, we will obviously be doing that as well. I'll probably actually be doing the returning characters, even though I'm... Or maybe you'll get two, maybe you'll get two videos worth of Warriors Orchid 4 Ultimate. I really want to play with Hades because I've actually been... I was actually kind of thoroughly enjoying playing with Hades, and then I was also decent... Uh, really thoroughly enjoying playing with Ryu again because Ryu is that dude. Ryu is so much fun. If you have not played with Ryu Hayabusa, at least in Warriors Orochi 3 Ultimate, which is obviously the better version of Warriors Orochi, then you should definitely go give him a shot. He is really fun. You will not be disappointed with him. He's so much fun. He's he's definitely one of my favorite to play right now. And I don't know why. I guess it's because of the cool slash effect that they gave him. Him um, and Achilles. But obviously Ryu is, I think, is in my personal opinion, a lot more of my favorite. But uh, I'm guessing there's supposed to be someone here, and it's supposed to be someone I'm supposed to defeat. That's cool. So, uh, buddy, you want to pop up so I can kill you? And with all these updates, two years later, game still not perfect, <laughs> believe it or not. Uh, okay, there he is. I just had to walk away for a second, I guess. But yeah, it was actually pretty interesting. I didn't expect Yao Chan to win because... Here, here's here's the here's the thing for the day. Here's the comment that I want you all to do for the day. So for this video right now, go down to the comments. What is that one character that you actually forget exists until you see them on screen? Like, what is the most forgetful character for you? Let me know down in the comments. For me, I mean, I'm not gonna say it's Diao Chan because I, I I obviously it's it's it can be nowadays because obviously she's only around for like a couple missions now. So what the hell difficulty are we playing on? Am I getting bodied right now, or is that just my health not going back up? It could be both. I don't know. But for me, I wouldn't say it's Diao Chan. Like, she actually can be forgettable. And not because, like, she sucks or anything. It's just because she's not around anymore. Like, obviously back in the older games, she was around even after Dong Zhuo was killed and everything. But in this game, I'm guessing they're making it more canon. I'm assuming that's what it is, because I guess she wasn't around after she, uh, Dong Zhuo was killed just ran off with her father so they ended up I, I get the feeling that's why Lu Ling Chi's actually here in this game now it's because Diao Chan was having they wanted to make it more canon and they decided all right we're gonna let Diao Chan leave after Gadong Zhuo is dead and they're gonna have Lu Ling Chi instead be the one to take over the reins as the the girl of the group but honestly it's kind of cool being able to just relive these because it, feel, it feels right to be able to have Diao Chan even though she's not technically supposed to be around in these stages anymore feels right to have her along with the Lubu army. I'm kind of wishing they just went a little more hypothetical with that and kept Diao Chan around because I actually did like the relationship between her and Lubu. And then they kind of just killed it off after Dong Zhuo was killed. Like, if they were doing it for canonical purse purposes, 
I get it, but come on. You've been doing it for like the past, like what, seven or eight games? Seven, because I don't think she was around. She, when you went the hypothetical, she was still around, and Lu Ling Chi wasn't. But when you went around uh, the historical route, she wasn't there, and Lu Ling Chi was around. Funny enough. So personally, I'm, I'm I was kind of, I'm kind of hoping they go back with that route and just like have all three of them like together at the same time. I don't know why they like are like keeping Diao Chan away from like Lu Ling Chi or something. I don't know what the what the cause of that nonsense is. Also, this is going to be a very short battle, so I'm going to try to like, I will try to drag it out a little bit. I don't know how much I'll be able to drag it out, but we're kind of plowing through these people right now. He's only level 49, but this is like, we're like a decent amount of levels above these, so it makes sense. So I'll try to like take some bases maybe. If the bases end up taking too long to take over, we're obviously going to just skip over it. But yeah. Hep, 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 hep. Urgh, get your lights out of here. And she's actually really fun with the whip. I don't know. I think I'm probably sure Diao Chan is probably my favorite with the whip. I never really tried it with Zenji because I ended up only playing with her when she got the Iron Flute, which game breaking. And then the only ones left with the with the whips are Diao Chan and Sai Wenji. I played a little bit of Sai Wenji, and I actually really do like her move set because I, if I'm not mistaken, the trigger attacks are different, and I do like. Let me see, because I know she has like uh, Sai Wenji has like a whirlwind kind with either the knockdown. Yeah, so the the trigger attacks are different. So, I think when mixing the trigger attacks together, I'd probably still have to say it's Diao Chan who trumps it just a little bit. But, Sai Wenji's also pretty cool. But yeah, I never really mentioned. Funny enough, Sai Wenji, until Dynasty Warriors 9 came around, she really was a forgettable character, but I, I want to be like more recent with it. I'd probably say Su Sheng or Han Dong. Probably more Su Sheng, because I remember Han Dong at least a decent amount in the game. Getting a little bit of showcases here and there when he first debuted in the game. So yeah, I'd probably have to say... Su Shang. No disrespect. I know I give him a lot of disrespect, and I don't really... I, I, I played as him re when I played as him recently. I actually was thoroughly enjoying him, so it's not like a hate factor. I just really just forget about him a lot. He's just a real big sideline character, but then again, a lot of Wu characters are sideline characters, because it's all about Shu and Wei, apparently. Poor, poor Wu. Did Wu even, like... Okay, yeah, one person voted on a Wu character. Okay. I was about to be like, man, no one even picked a Wu character for the poll. Yeah, this is actually really fun because it's reigniting me to, to make me play with other characters. Like, if I did it, if I, like, had it, make made a poll myself, I probably would have been, like, um... I probably would have picked characters that I was more comfortable with, and then I would have decided you guys vote from that. So I'm actually liking the Discord's choice option that I came up with because now... And I'll eventually also do it for people who don't want to join the Discord and just want to be in the comment section. I'll, of course, also mention that kind of stuff as well. I'll, uh, I'll let the comment section also decide, but for now, I'm probably going to stick with the Discord stuff. So if you do want to take part in this stuff, I add I add everyone every time I do it. I ping the people. So if you ever want to do take part in those polls, wherever I do Dynasty Warriors 9 or Warriors Virtue 4 Ultimate or Warriors Virtue 3 Ultimate or any other game, maybe Dynasty Warriors 8, em or 8 Empire, excuse me. Actually, no, that would be kind of cool. Like, maybe pick out of my OCs, which you would like to see me play as, because I haven't played as my OCs in a hot minute. But um, maybe we'll do that next week because I kind of already because I, I really I'm really hot on Warriors Archie Four Ultimate right now. Oh, uh, it's trying to get like characters playing as characters and such. All right, so I'm gonna go help out Guan Yu over here. My game was lagging. That's that wasn't fun. If you saw that little lag spike, that was actually the game, not not me. I'm also keeping an eye on my recording because I'm pl I'm honestly actually using some higher recording options like, and so I want to see how it goes. So far, it's decent. I guess I, I guess the main factor is don't have anything running in the background, which I sometimes did from time to time, but I stopped doing that, and it actually has been running a lot better. I haven't really ran into many issues lately, but just in case, I'm gonna keep an eye on it. And if it starts lagging up, I'm, I'm like I'm trying to keep an eye on it. So if I do miss something and you get a lag in the video, I do apologize. Or if you get a cut in the video, then you'll understand why. But yeah, this this week's probably gonna be an experiment with uh, my recording software. Because, yeah, some of the videos have looked good. Some of them have like looked meh because I lowered some of the some of the quality settings. But now I've upped them higher than ever, and so far so decent, I guess. I hope it at least survives for this video. If it doesn't with the others, it's fine. But at least with this one. But yeah, honestly, she's really fun to play with, Yao Chan. I I, I do thoroughly enjoy playing. I've I kind of stopped playing with her after she got the whip in Dynasty Warriors 6. Like, I gave her a shot and everything. I play a little bit of her in Warriors Archer 3 Ultimate. 
but I really ended up stopping like after she lost her maces because I really wish those things would come back. I think they could still look really cool and elegant with this kind of character, especially with designs like this and everything. But obviously we're not going to get that anymore because apparently they're hot on the whip. I would say let Sai Wenji keep the whip. I know it doesn't really suit her 100% because she's more of a harp person, like a musical person, but... And the whip does suit someone with her with the dancing qualities of Diao Chan. But honestly, I really... Like the design that they gave Sai Wenji in this game with, with the whip, it actually works pretty damn well with her. So if they did end up keeping her with the whip, I'd be cool with that. Let Diao Chan keep the dual maces. I loved the dual maces to death. They were probably one of my favorite go-to weapons in the game. Obviously, since I lost all my save data on PlayStation 2 games, I have to go and do it all over again, which... <laughs> but at the same time, I don't mind. I, don't, I really do want to bring some older games back to the channel. Like some of the older Dynasty games, because those games are fun. And obviously, we're coming around the corner with the 20-year uh, anniversary, so maybe maybe I will do something like that. Maybe play the best Dynasty Warriors, which is Dynasty Warriors 4, in my personal opinion. I think Dynasty Warriors 4 was hands down my favorite Dynasty Warriors of all time. I spent so much time in that one, aside from all the other ones. Is there a bridge over here I can cross? Yeah, it's over here. Right? This way? Yeah, it's over this way. Okay. Want to make sure. Yeah, these ideas have honestly been reigniting me to play more of these games. Some of the lack more lackluster games and everything. But I'll still also play more of the funner games like uh, Warriors Witcher 3 Ultimate. Some of the older Dynasty games and all that such. So, maybe I'll even let you guys decide one day, like, which game should I play? Like, which Dynasty Warriors should I play? I think that'd be a pretty cool idea as well. I'll let you guys decide on it. Yeah, I think that'd be really fun. See, like, that's the cool thing I like to do. Like, I like to get people involved in the community and everything. So that's why Discord has, like, been a big help for me. Because now I'm able to do all this fun stuff and, like, I don't have to always make the decision. So, like, if I get lazy or if I don't, like, have any ideas at all, I'll let Discord decide. So, honestly, today, when it comes to at least Dynasty Warriors 9, I just don't know. Also, part laziness. When it comes to Warriors Orochi 4 Ultimate, I do have ideas already for it, but whenever I run out of ideas, I'll let you guys like decide to make the teams like I did back in the day before Ultimate came out. Uh, and that was really fun. I did like it because it let me play with characters I didn't really show off much on the channel. I actually and thoroughly had a lot of fun with it. And it's way easier to level people up now in this in Warriors Orochi 4 Ultimate, so I can do it no problem at all. You can literally play through Infinity Mode, plow through it, get some good XP. You can even, um, who's still, oh, there's still a decent amount of captains over here, okay. Ow! Ow! Stop! I hate it. Alright, so, is that it? We got the base? Cool. But I also just say real quick, I know I mentioned this every video, but look at this horse and look at her armor. Uh, Lu Chi, I mean. That armor just suits her so, or the, the horse suits her so, like, yes, it's technically the Wu Force's horse, but that was like that horse was made for Lulin Shi. Come on, it looks per it looked perfect for her. We got another base coming up. Should we take it out. I think we'll take it out. We're getting we're getting close, aren't we? How many more bases do we got? Okay, this is technically the last. Never mind. No, it's not. Fuck it. We'll take it out anyway. <laughs> I don't care. Then again, I could also just be going in the castle and just plowing through people. We might do that instead. So maybe I'll take this base and then we'll just plow through the. Uh... Oh, that was easy. Oh, all right, maybe I'll just keep going. Maybe I'll just, yeah, I'll just keep going then. Are the people cut, yeah, they're just now crossing the bridge. Slow pokes. All right, so let's cross the, is this the bridge over here? Yeah, it's crossing the bridge, all right. Got our assault captains following us as we're running into battle. Oh, we already got some people in here jo joining the fight. All right, we're good, we're good. Oh, I meant to jump, idiot. Yeah, her design's really good in this game. I would still wouldn't say it's the, the best like I would like I'm still so upset that they wouldn't give us like the older costumes like I would have loved to see like Dynasty Warriors 6 Day Out Chan's outfit or Dynasty Warriors 5's Day Out Chan outfit like it, it's still always been like difficult for me I still think Dynasty Warriors 5's outfit for Dao Chan was my favorite but the 6th one was really good too like I really did enjoy like Dynasty Warriors 6 uh, designs were really dope out of all of them, I think hers and Diao Chan's and Lu Bu stood out the most for me. But the other ones were really good, too. Don't get me wrong on that. Right, I think we only have one base left before we get there. Yep. All right. Yeah, we'll, we'll just take out that last base then and then move on to Yuan Shu. So, yeah. We'll wrap this whip right around his neck. Snap it! Get your ass out of here, boy. All right. Hip. Look how elegant she is, man. It's crazy. Like, it really... 
Like, I, I'm gonna say, this weapon really does suit her dancing needs, but I would still really much want the maces back so badly. Love those things. I gotta lie, I might use like, that pose for her, the thumbnail this time, instead of just using the regular old pictures that I always use. Motherfucker with these damn... Alright, we got the base, it doesn't matter. Uh, yep, alright, let's move on to Yuan and Shu. Oh, this is gonna be a siege battle, isn't it? Where is everyone? Let's do that. Let's actually do the. I think if I fast travel, everyone will just show up here. Uh, yep, pretty much. Oh, right, she's here. I forgot about that. Also, the game's been lagging a little bit. That's kind of weird. Get off the horse. Fight me. Wow, her her armor just melted. Either I countered that perfectly, or obviously this is going to be easier as well because this is an, an easier stage, like an earlier stage in the game. How are you not dead? I literally got the the prompt and everything. That's crazy. Oh well, you're dead anyway. Who cares? Ow! What the hell? Jeez! Stop! So rude, disrespectful. All right, so let's move on. We're gonna move over to Hia's now. Oh, I forgot Shang Gong still has his DLC outfit on. It's rare when I play these Lubu stages. Well, to be fair, it's rare when I really play this game aside from on camera. The good thing about it, though, is that there aren't really like any combos you have to unlock. So if you ever want to just see the full experience of the character, literally, it's already there for you, basically, because there's not really any like crazy like upgrading combat system. You just just learn the combat as you go. Hip, 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 hip. All right, that was easy. So is the gate gonna open now, or where's Lu Bu? Is he slacking? Lu Bu's slacking hard. I mean, his daughter. Well, technically she's with me, but that's the bodyguard variant. All right, so are we not gonna do a siege battle here? Am I just gonna go up through the castle walls? I mean, if we do that, that's cool with me. I'm cool with that. Actually, now that I think about it, are the brothers, like, doing anything? No, they're, they're just relaxing at their castle. They're they, they doing their own thing. Hip, 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 Also, uh, I'll probably mention it on the Discord before, obviously, the Discord will already know. But I'm honestly pretty curious about uh, Romance of the Three Kingdoms, because obviously they've been making a lot of games for those. Apparently, they're pretty... Well regarded. I need to like ask them like what that game's about for anyone who actually does play it. If any of you, knew, if any of you in the comments also play Romance of the Kingdoms, would you think it's a game I like? Because I'm because I don't know what it's like really. I'm I don't know it doesn't really show because I definitely don't really play that many of them. Mostly because I don't know if you guys would be interested in it. But obviously, I do really thoroughly enjoy playing like um, strategy games and everything. So I don't know if Romance of the Three Kingdoms is kind of like that or anything. I don't mind playing those kind of slow paced like strategy kind of games or anything. Or even like uh, building your own kingdom up or whatever. I don't really know what that game is at all. I keep saying I'll probably do something with it, but I never do. <laughs> Look at the beauty! Look at the beauty herself, Diao Chan. I still remember when I still did one of my favorite videos was one of the most cringiest uh, intros was uh, with Diao Chan in her wedding dress. I was like, God, why Why do some of you watch my channel? <laughs> Look at us just plowing through this, man. I don't see a chance. Alright, so... Where's the gate to get to Yuan Shu? Yuan Shu. I guess we'll just keep following the, the, the path here. Oh, there we go. It'll be over here. Yep. Oh, the gate's open too. Perfect. Hello there, friend. Hello there, Yuan Shu. Yes, I'm here to kill you, sir. All right, disrespectful. Why would you do that to the beauty? Boo, get out of my shot. What? Oh. Oh, that's right. This mission doesn't let you actually fight Yuan Shu. He just, like, surrenders. Alright. Man, imagine being scared. Obtained Yuan Shu from Yuan Shu. What? What? Alright, well, whatever. 
All right, so, oh, there we go. Look, we even get the beauty herself on the loading screen. All right, so I think that is a good stopping point there, of course, since we beat the stage and everything. I actually kept the video, made it decently linked. So uh, if you guys did enjoy it and you do want to see more Dynasty Warriors, I'm not going to give a like. I'll just hit that, just show that support right now. Smash the like button, comment down below. And uh, obviously, like I said, down in the comments, also make sure that you give your least, uh, your, your, what's the, what was I saying? Your most forgettable character, yeah. So whatever character is most forgettable for you, let me know down in the comments below. <clears throat> so, yes. Also, guys, if you're new to the channel, like the content that you see, then uh, you, should be, you should hit that sub button. Because uh, we're doing some more stuff with the community. Doing more fun things with them, like letting them decide who my teams are and all that such. If you want to see that and you want to continue it, obviously you can go down to the Discord. But you should also hit that sub button right now. You guys have been blowing me away so far. Like, it hasn't even been a month yet, and we're already, like, almost... Half, almost halfway to um, 800 already. That's crazy. And by that, I mean like going from 700 to 800. I mean, it's not, it hasn't even been like a full blown month yet. And you guys are crushing it. So thank you guys very much for those of you who have been. So if you want to join the, the Warriors of Jigoku, then be sure to hit that sub button right now. With all that being said, guys, thank you all very much for watching. I'll see you all in the next video. Farewell.